Forty sailors marched down a street in Concord, stopped at the home of Captain Tom Hudner, and for his 92nd birthday, burst into the Navy fight song. Then each sailor got the chance to shake the hand of the man who single-handedly changed the face of the Navy. But as long as we have a Navy, we're going to still be teaching about Captain Hudner. The Navy Panthers take off on missions over North Korea. December 1950, Hudner takes off over North Korea with five other fighter pilots, including Jesse Brown. Brown is the Navy's first ever African-American pilot, just two years after the military had been officially desegregated. When Brown is shot down over enemy territory, Hudner purposefully crash lands his own plane to try to save him. The fact that a white sailor would risk his life for an African-American sailor in 1950. In 1950, yes, sir. How big of a deal is that? It's a huge deal. Brown did not survive, but for his bravery, Hudner was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Truman, who saw the story as proof desegregation could work. The way he thought about desegregation um, was pretty much unpopular at the time, so he, he stepped forward. He was the one in front. No, they were absolutely friends. And, Hudner's uh, son uh, says the results of that friendship and his father's sacrifice can be seen in the diverse faces who came to their home today. Men and women of color have come up to him and, and thanked him specifically you know, for his service and for what he did for Jesse Brown. And, uh, <laughs> Hudner, who has Parkinson's, did not speak today, but he posed for pictures and received the sailors' grateful applause for helping make the Navy what it is today. In Concord, David Beenick, WCVB News Center 5.